Welcome back to another video and I'll be covering how to upload your book to Amazon KDP in 10 minutes. I'll provide you with all the information that you need and make sure you watch this video till the end. So to start uploading your books, you're going to need to log into your Amazon KDP account. If you don't have an account, then you can just go to Google and type in Amazon KDP and click on the first link and start setting up your account. And once everything's set up, you'll see this screen and you just need to click create then go to create paperback then you'll be taken to this page and it's the first of a three-step process and the first page involves filling in the paperback details so all this information will be blank when you're filling it in i filled in the details to save time but i'll explain my thought process as we go through so the first thing that you'll see on the screen is the language now all my books are in english so i always choose this option then the next thing we have is the book title which includes the title and subtitle you really want to make sure that you take time to get these right as these can't be changed and that they include the main keywords that you want to rank for you can also take a quick look at this web page that will provide you with information on best practices regarding keywords and keywords to avoid to ensure that you're keeping your account safe. So I've been working on an animal mandala coloring book and why did I choose that as the title? Well, if we go over to Amazon and type that exact title into the search bar, we can see that there's a lot of different keywords that show up for this, which means that there is a lot of demand for these types of books. To support you with this process, you can also download AMZ Suggestion Expander. That's going to provide you with extra keywords that customers are using to search on Amazon. And after this, it's down to you to go through the keywords and find the keywords with a low search result and in high demand. And to find out if something is in demand, all we need to do is click on the keyword and then take a look through the books. We can download our publishing titans. It's going to give us more information. And all we need to do is look at the book's best selling rank. And the lower this number is, the more it's selling. So anything under 100,000 is selling very often. And if you see multiple books with a very low BSR, then it's definitely a niche you should target. However, in this instance, we can see multiple books with very low BSRs. However, there's quite a lot of results so it may be difficult to get onto the first or second page so we can simply niche down by looking at more of the keywords provided in the search bar then in the subtitle i've included stress relief and relaxation for adults because again these were highly sought after keywords that we found in the search bar so we know what specific type of customers to target our coloring book around so once you've chosen your title and subtitle, the next part is a series. Now, if your book is part of a series, you just click add series details and then you can choose a new series or an existing series. After this, we have edition number. And this only really needs to be used when you are making a significant update to the original version. Next, we have author. Now, if you're not using your name, you want to come up with something unique just to ensure that there's no other brand on Amazon and you're not using any trademarked term. If you are struggling to come up with some names, then you can use ChatGPT to provide you with some author names. And once you've found one, just have a quick search on Amazon to ensure that nobody's using that name. After this, we have contributors. And if somebody's helped you write a book or illustrate, they require attribution, then you can add them here. After we have the description and I like to start this off using a hook to entice the reader then just have a detailed description of what's included then just have four to five features of what's included within the book and then finally end with a call to action to make them buy the book. Again if you are struggling with this you can use AI tools such as ChatGPT to help you with this. After we have a little bit about publishing rights so if you own the copyright and hold the necessary publishing rights to your book you can click this option however if it is a public domain work then you can choose that option. So the next section is the backend keywords and just make sure that you fill these out with all the relevant keywords to ensure that your book will be found. Now, if you're using free tools, what I recommend is again, using the search bar and including all the keywords that you haven't mentioned in the title and subtitle. We don't wanna duplicate anything as you're just wasting a keyword spot. And you also don't wanna stuff this with irrelevant keywords as then your book will show up underneath irrelevant searches where buyers won't be interested and it will also harm your ad campaigns if you're running automatic ads. 
So to find more relevant keywords, just take a look through the books that are doing well under your keyword and look at their title and subtitle and include any keywords that you haven't already. If you are still struggling with this, then a website that you can use to support you with this part is keywordtool.io. Now this free tool is going to provide you with a list of popular keywords that you can add to your backend keywords. With most free tools, you are going to be quite limited, but at least with this website, you don't have to put in your email. All you have to do is make sure you you choose the option for Amazon, then type in your keywords and then click search and take a look through and add any keywords you haven't included. After this, we have categories and Amazon allows you at this stage only to add two categories. So to save time, a free website you can use is a bookbird.io. And this free tool will save you so much time as you can just type in a word related to your book and then it will just provide you with the categories for it. But if a category doesn't come up for the word you're looking for, just try a different word. Next, just asking if your book is classified as any of these types or if it's a low content book, such as a journal, notebook or planner that includes repeated pages. So in this instance, no. And is it a large print book? So does the content include a 16 point font size or greater? Again, in this instance, no, so we leave it blank. And finally, our book does not contain any adult content, so we click no. Scroll to the bottom and click save and continue. Then we're on to the second page. The first question is regarding an ISBN, just an international standard book number. Now, if you use the free one provided with Amazon, you can only publish your book on Amazon. However, if you want to publish your book on other marketplaces, then you will have to buy your own ISBN from an external organization. We have publication date underneath this and it says that you should leave this blank if you're publishing your book for the first time. I usually leave it blank anyway. Then we have our print options. With most of my books, I go with the black and white interior with white paper. Otherwise, if it's maybe a children's book or a cookbook where it needs color, then I might go with the standard color or premium color interior with white paper, but that is down to your personal preference. If you're going with color, then the cheapest option will be the standard color interior. And if you're going with the black and white interior, then the option with white paper is cheaper. Now we're on to the trim size of your book. And with color and book, activity book, cookbooks, I I usually go with 8.5 by 11 however with journals notebooks planners I usually go with six inches by nine now in terms of the bleed if your coloring page image goes right to the borders then then you will need a bleed within your book however for this specific coloring book the images don't go to the edge so I've gone with no bleed then in terms of the paperback cover finish you've got two options matte or glossy so my coloring books, activity books, cookbooks, any book that might get a little bit messy, I go with the glossy cover. However, for the others, I go with a matte cover such as notebooks, journals, short stories, quiz books. After this, the next two parts, we're uploading our manuscripts, our interior and our book cover. If you have any issues with these parts, then you can use the KDP cover calculator website that will provide you with specific dimensions that you need for your book. And you can just fill in all the information. It may take a little bit of time for both of these to load, but once it's done, you can click launch previewer. Here, Amazon will do a quick quality check. So if there's any part of your book that there may be an issue with, then Amazon will let you know. But if you followed all the details, then nothing should come up. I would also advise just taking a look through the pages just to ensure that you haven't made any errors or missed anything out. And once you're happy with everything, just click approve. And it will take you back onto the same page, providing you with all the information again. And all you need to do is just have a look at the print cost and make sure everything's fine and then just click save and continue to go on to the last page. So the first thing we see on here is territories. So if you've got the distribution rights, then you can publish it within all territories. However, if you've only got it within a certain territory, then you go to individual territories. If you don't understand this, then basically it says that if your book is original content and you've never published it before, you most likely have worldwide rights. So I always choose the all territories options. Then we go with the primary marketplace. Now I always leave it on amazon.com as that is the biggest a marketplace now in terms of price it's really down to your own personal preference I would suggest going through Amazon and comparing the quality of your book to others. You've also got the self-publishing titans extensions and this will quickly summarize all the data on any page and give you the average price, the lowest price and the highest price so that you're able to make a better judgment. I usually go with $6.99 for my coloring books that include only 20 images. So that's just my own choice as I know the quality of these books and I know that they will sell well. 
and I like to round up all the other marketplaces with a 99 to get the most profits that I can and if you want to order an author copy of your own book which I do recommend then you can click request proof and you'll be able to get your book at a cheaper price once it is uploaded to Amazon and if you're happy with everything then you just click publish your paperback book now some books can take just a few hours for Amazon to upload whereas others such as low content books can take a few days but just be patient so thanks for getting to the end of this video i said i'd do it in 10 minutes and i did now if there's any part that you want me to specifically go over in more detail then just let me know in the comments and take care